Life-saving tools swiped from a rural fire station in southwest Washington after somebody broke in and stole thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And you won't believe what they used as their getaway car. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz has a look at what was stolen and the impact this is now having on the small community. She has this story from Grays River tonight. In Grays River, neighbors rely on each other many of whom volunteer for this fire department. This is stealing from everybody in this community. But what happened this week at one of Wakayakum Fire and Rescue stations is leaving the Foley Volunteer Department stunned and without vital tools for the 450 homes it serves. We've uh, had a couple of the Easy Start 18-inch chainsaws removed off of one of the engines, along with a set of manual jaws of life. The sheriff's office estimates between forty-five dollars to $50,000 worth of equipment was stolen. Fire Commissioner Mark Letham says there were no signs of forced entry, and he can't understand who would do this to the small department. These are the tools we need in order to save someone's life. And I don't know if it's arrogant, ignorance, I don't know what it is. It is sad. And not only did they steal thousands of dollars worth of life-saving equipment, but then they used this ambulance as a getaway vehicle to haul everything out of the station. This is the defibrillator that will, you know, will do the job, but it, it won't monitor the patient, it won't do blood pressure, so it will do oxygen levels, things like that. Inside this ambulance, they stole a defibrillator worth more than $30,000. The ambulance was found dumped less than a mile from the station Wednesday morning, hours after thieves stole it on Tuesday. And now a plea to the community to keep your eyes open. If you see any of this equipment, it just doesn't fit please notify Wakaikum County Sheriff's Office. Letham says he's not speculating on whether this was an inside job, but the locks were changed and there will be more security measures put in place. In Wakaikum County, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12, Oregon. And the Sheriff's Office says there are not any leads in this case just yet.